This is what they do when they do a wrong. They say x squared plus x to the third. You know what they do wrong? They do this. Well, that's x to the fifth. Right? No, it's wrong. They don't understand that you can't combine these because they're not like terms. They have different powers to the base x, right? So let's actually show what these different tails look like. And that's what I call them. We have a, a base of x. What's hiding up here? We don't see it. Yeah, there's a little one. That's basically what these ladies have over here. So I'd like to model the problem that we have up top. And once I know that you know, we'll move into the distributive property called FOIL. Because that's a little more challenging for your grade. So how many X's do we see? Four X's. So would you stand up and hold your little X sign proudly. Be proud that you're an X. And you're an X. And you, could I have these four X's? Bring your X paper and come on up. Stand right here. Stand right here. Bring your X. Be proud to be an X. Stand right here next to us. <coughs> and I need three ones. I can have three ones slip up. And if you could hold your little sign proudly up. Drop there one, okay. Here we are. And let's have a little separation. We'll have the ones do this way. Now these ladies here are all X's. And these lady here are all ones. Can we combine X's and ones? Yes. I know some students that their final answer would be 3X to the 4. They would say 3X to the 4. And they'd get it wrong, wouldn't they? They wouldn't understand that you can't combine these. So how many X's do we have? Four X's. And how many ones do we have? Three. And we could actually write our final answer here of four X's plus three. Okay, I'm going to have you stay right where we are. We're going to change the problem. Actually, I'm going to have my one slip that way just a little bit. What if we model this problem a little differently? What would be this answer? I'm hearing the answer one more time. 2x plus 1. Nice. Let's see if they're right. Because I'm going to do this problem. It says let's start with an x. Hold your x proudly. And then we're going to add one more x. So we'll have you stand over here a little bit and hold your x up proudly. Now what does this mean? Minus x. Is it safe to say take away? Yes. So we're going to take you away. I'm going to have you go back to your seat. Keep your X. That's yours to keep. 